Well, that's, of course, a personal view that uh, it, 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 I, I don't believe in the... God of the Bible or the God of the... Greeks and Romans and... and they're all of them stories that people tell and the God of the Bible was a, a very human character with a lot of unpleasant qualities and <laughs> very often showing the worst aspects of humans and, and on the other hand Jesus was something else was a real person with a tremendous insight and I don't believe Jesus was divine but I still very somebody of enormous influence on history and So all that to me is, it's, it's, liter it's literature, literature always, ha if it's good literature, it has, uh, it has value. But to me, the, uh, if there is a God, it's something much more inherent in nature. It's, so my, so my God is much more what you might call a world soul. That's my mother's phrase, and she used to talk about the world soul, and I think that's, that describes it quite well, that, that, that there is some mind at work in the world, which we are part of that, and that's why we have brains that somehow are aware of what, of what we are doing, and So that uh, we're not only just we're not just machines. We have a mental aspect as well. So the universe as a whole very likely has a mental aspect, and so that's what I mean by saying the word mind and God are to me the same. And God is just what mind becomes when it's on a universal scale. <laughs>